This album is a huge departure um, from the artist the world knows or has come to know as Lila Bialy. Jazz singer, jazz pianist, arranger. Um, I've always written music, but um, I've never released an album with entirely original material. I think this album, in many ways, represents my coming to terms with the various seasons of my life. For me, I'd never worked with a, a gospel choir before and there was definitely a learning curve and I will tell you that Karen Burke is a master. And when I walked into that room, I didn't quite know what was going to happen. I, she somehow magically <laughs> took what I had written and like translated it for the choir. Co-producing with my husband has been a luxury. He's a drummer, he writes music, he mixes, he obviously produces. Musically speaking, um, I've sort of been making my way through various genres. Started off with classical, segued into jazz, made a career in jazz, but then started performing with artists like Sting, Paula Cole, Suzanne Vega, and they're all non-jazz artists. And it was during my time with, with these artists that I started to write my own original material that was a little more mainstream and certainly a divergence from jazz. We sing so it is pop leaning. Some people might say it's adult contemporary, but one thing that I really want to have as part of the spirit of the album and the sound of the album is this indie vibe. And so I feel like horns um, have brought that quality to the music. My dear friend Joe Laurie is one of the primary background singers on this album, as well as the great Lisa Fisher, who is in 20 Feet from Stardom and has toured with the Stones for over 25 years. The three of us met singing back up for Sting in 2009. And Sting used to refer to us as his girls. Oh my girls. <laughs> Beating wings, the secret things your love had blown apart. Daily life in New York is a struggle, uh, especially with a little one in the mix. Um, but I, I actually think that the struggle it, it enriches um, our art, our craft. You're just living in close proximity to so many people. So you have garbage trucks going by and, and people making noise just outside of the, stu the studio windows. The subway is below us. And so we could be in the middle of a track and there's no predicting when the subway will go by. <laughs> People, when they hear this record to, to recognize me because over these past few years this a decade really now 
of trying on different things. You know, I'm sort of in all these different formats and they're all authentically who I am musically, but there's just a little piece missing and it's all part of the journey of really honing in on my artistic voice. And I think that this album delivers the most complete picture of who I am as an artist. <laughs>